Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to show you guys how to transform your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, Samsung's newest tablet, into a full fledged desktop PC like environment to boost productivity and get some work done. So as you can see, instead of seeing the usual Android interface, you're seeing the Samsung DeX interface, which is designed to offer you desktop like environment to get the work done. I'm currently moving windows around and controlling the tablet with a Bluetooth mouse. I'm able to maximize and minimize windows just like on a desktop PC. So let's dive in and discover how to get this done and get a full tour of this interface on the Tab S6. Now the feature that makes this possible is known as the Samsung DeX interface. And unlike these smartphones, unlike the Samsung Galaxy smartphones such as a Note 9, Note 10, S9, S8, you are able to convert this tablet into Samsung DeX without needing an external monitor, cables, or a computer. Everything can happen right on this actual product. So let me show you how to get that done. So if you go to the settings right over here, you wanna scroll down over to where it says advanced features, and then from advanced features, you can go into Samsung DeX functionality, and right now, as you can see, it is turned off, and you have a bunch of options that you can use with Samsung DeX. And of course, the most important of those features are the fact that you can that you can attach a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, such as this one right over here, to the desktop environment and use it as if it was a real PC. So to enable Samsung DeX and get that desktop environment, all you do is simply turn this on. When you do that, it's gonna turn off the Android interface and it's going to launch the desktop interface, which is right over here, as you can see. Now, let me show you what it means to have a desktop environment, which you're already familiar with. So when you launch any of these files, such as my files, it opens up as a window, as, a, as a, just like a Windows PC or a Mac PC. When you go to the gallery, it's gonna launch the gallery application, as you can see. When you tap on settings, you can have the settings applications, as you can see, all right? And then if you wanna go to your app drawer, at the bottom here, we have the app drawer. You tap on that one, it goes right inside. And I will let you know, you can use the S Pen uh, to interact with this whole thing, no problem, okay? Now, real quick, I'm gonna show you something that is in high demand. So let me just maximize this. Uh, just like on a PC, you can maximize anything you want. Now, if I go back into Samsung DeX, now when I go to the settings, in the DeX mode, you get the desk DeX specific settings. So Samsung DeX, is gonna show up on the top right over here. So I'm gonna tap on this one real quickly. I'm gonna to go to mouse and trackpad, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put this mouse in pairing mode by pressing and holding the button, all right? I'm just gonna show you how that works real quick. So this is now in pairing mode, as you can see. So what I can do from here is I can go to my Bluetooth settings, uh, which is gonna be in connections, go into Bluetooth, enable that, uh, let's go inside, and I'm gonna be searching for that device, which is gonna come up as the designer mouse. All right, so as you just saw, it just popped up right here. So I'm gonna click on designer mouse and it's gonna to connect to that mouse. And really quickly, as soon as I'm connected to that mouse, now I have a mouse. So I'm using the mouse on the side over here, but you can see the little pointer all over the place. So basically I can go over here and press any of these buttons, all right? I can even press uh, the X over here. I can minimize stuff. The mouse is fully connected. The same way I can connect a Bluetooth keyboard as well. So I have full desktop functionality. Now I'm gonna right click on the mouse and you can get to the options. I can go to wallpapers for Samsung DeX. Uh, I can change the wallpapers as you can see. Let's just change it for the home screen. Set the wallpaper, we got the new one. I can go back in here. I can go to this one right over here, uh, home screen. Uh, click set as wallpaper and as you can see I now have a different wallpaper in the background and I'm using this whole thing with a mouse Which is fantastic. Uh, let me give you a quick tour around what's happening at the bottom over here So over here we have the DeX menu from here. We can exit the DeX mode We can go to DeX labs. We can see how to use to get some tutorial or whatever uh, from here, this button right here, we can go into the app drawer, and then we have apps over here. And then I can also go to Samsung DeX applications, uh, which gives me, it takes me to the website right over here. And then I can uh, scroll the website with my mouse wheel. At the bottom, it uh, gives you a list of all these applications that are fully compatible with the DeX mode, so you can actually get some work done, all right? So let me just minimize this. So that's the apps over here. I can launch any app that I please, even the Play Store, as you can see, 
I can go over here. If you don't have a keyboard attached to the uh, tablet, you can use the on-screen keyboard, all right? You can search for stuff, whatever, and just install it as you please, all right? So that's the Play Store. Let me minimize that as well. Now, this one over here is the Recents button that you find uh, on your regular Android tablets or smartphones. This one is the Home button. This one is the Back button, all right? So if I was in a menu, let me go to the settings right over here, go inside, uh, if I click on the back button, it just takes you back as per usual. And of course, over here, we have all our apps that are running in the background that you can minimize. So I can peek onto them. I can bring them back. As I said, I can move them around. Uh, I can exit out. Let me just go to YouTube so I can show you how that works. So if I click on YouTube application, this is what's going to pop up. So let me just lower the volume so we don't go crazy. So I can actually come over here at the bottom here and lower the media volume, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this one here to play this video real quick. And as you can see, uh, it works as the actual uh, YouTube application. I can skip the ad real quick. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to maximize this. That's what happens when you maximize it. And then when you wanna fully maximize, you can click the maximize window and boom, you can watch it in full screen. So that's not a problem at all. By the way, that's a gorgeous car, the Audi RS7. Now let's uh, go back here. I can click on this button. It takes you back to that regular full screen mode. And then if I wanna exit, I can go up here and I can go like this. Now I have it as a window. And the great thing is I can be doing multitasking with no problems on the desk, desk mode as you just saw, all right? And again, I'm using the mouse over here that you cannot see to control everything that's happening, uh, but you get the idea. That pointer is just moving around as I play with the mouse, all right? So these are the apps. And then over here, I can expand this. This basically allows me to um, access my notifications and my control panel. So this is my control panel. I can turn off the Bluetooth. I can turn on things that I, don't, I wanna use such as the blue light filter if I so desire. I can come here, I can click on the battery, that's gonna pull up the battery uh, app, all right? I can click on Wi-Fi, it's gonna give me an expansion. I can click on Bluetooth, it's gonna give me an expansion. Uh, then we have the S Pen, uh, the air actions and all that stuff. And then, so that's the uh, actual control panel. And of course you have your notifications uh, right, if you have any notifications, it's gonna pop right over here in this separate little uh, area right here. So notifications. Uh, control panel and your controls and your little stats over here and then over here we have the on-screen keyboard I can toggle that on and off I can access the media controls from here I can take a screenshot by pressing this button and I can search by using the finder search okay so that's going to allow me to search the entire uh, tablet no problem so I can type in Geekbench and that's going to bring up the Geekbench application okay and I can exit out no problem so that's Samsung Dex and like I said, you can take this uh, using a USB Type-C to an HDMI cable, which you can uh, plug the USB cable here at the bottom, and the other end can be connected to a high-definition monitor with an HDMI input, and you can project this entire thing onto a monitor if you want a larger screen to get your work done, but you also have this option. You do have a file explorer right over here, which is known as the My File. So you can, you know, look at your images, your videos, your audio, your documents. Everything can be managed from here, no problem. This is a fantastic little tool. Now let me show you something really quickly. So I did install Microsoft Word from the Play Store, and I'm going to launch it right now. I just want you guys to see how it looks. It looks just like the full version that you would see on a desktop environment. And I do want to show you this so to as to show you that you can get some work done. So if I go to the blank document, uh, it's not going to work right now because I don't have a subscription, but basically this is exactly what you see. And when you launch this, you get the full-fledged Microsoft Word experience, okay? So you can uh, really get some work done on this guy. And remember, you can always go to the app drawer, click on Samsung Dex, and like I said, on that website, all the way at the bottom, it shows you all these applications you can use uh, for work-related tasks, all right? So let me X this out and show you one final thing over here. Uh, go to the settings. And over here, when you go to the Samsung Deck settings, uh, you do have the ability to auto start the Samsung Dex when you connect a keyboard book cover. Okay, if you buy one of those, or if you connect this uh, tablet to an HDMI monitor with a USB to HDMI cable, you can also make sure Dex auto starts 
So you can see this environment here. You can project this whole thing into a larger uh, screen. You can do this on a 14 screen. You can do it on a, on a 24 inch screen, whatever. All you need is a cable USB type C to HDMI in on your monitor. So that's all great. And you can also configure your keyboard and your mouse right from here. You can even change the pointer speed as you can see and do all those things, all right? So Samsung DeX is fantastic. When you're done with it, you click over here and you say exit DeX, you click OK, and you go right back into the tablet mode in the Android environment, which is this regular stuff. Anyone here, you can use the key, uh, mouse if you wanted to, all right? So that's the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.